Spots predictions from CR 896 with ChatGPT Part 3, Climate Destruction, Human-Induced Environmental Degradation. Hello, ChatGPT. Can you give me X maples of this? So the dire effects of the climate destruction caused by the guilt and unreasonableness of earthly humanity will already be apparent in the next month of December. And that these coming climate changes, which will continue into the distant future, will have real consequences of the blatant and totally destructive machinations of the high number of Earth humans, will be denied by scientists and all those in positions of responsibility well into the next millennium. It will be the case that over time, the most diverse branches of science will recognize that all sorts of irresponsible machinations by humanity will have caused climate change. But there will still be no mention of the fact that all the nature-changing, planet-impairing, and climate-destroying machinations, in their immeasurable extent, are solely the result of the fast and unstoppable, as well as numerically high-growing Earth humanity, which is far above the Earth's tolerable level of coping ability. And in the future, the growing mass of human beings will very quickly damage and adversely change nature and its fauna and flora, as well as the planet, to such an extent that enormous disadvantages will also arise for Earth humanity, and to such an extent that for the time being, and for a long time, and far into the next millennium, no help can be taken against it. The main causes of climate change, which, for the time being, will not be mentioned and will actually be a climate destruction, will be triggered in many forms by irresponsible machinations and by the ever-growing mass of humanity, whereby the manipulative forms are, will be based on the fact that the entire earthly ecosystem, the climate, the atmosphere, and nature, as well as the entire planet, will be included and destroyed to its foundations. All of this will also be triggered by the irresponsible exploitation of the Earth's resources, the poisoning and pollution of the atmosphere, nature and its fauna and flora, the seas and inland waters, by a wide range of toxic substances, gases, emissions from internal combustion engines, and heating systems that use fossil fuels. Artificial, toxic fertilizers and all kinds of herbicides, pesticides, and many other substances also have a destructive effect on the whole of nature. Fauna and flora, as well as on the planet itself, and this, like on human beings, causes many serious illnesses in them. And through toxic gases and all kinds of toxic dirt, the ozone layer and the oxygen will also be dangerously reduced and impaired, which will lead to skin cancer and other ailments in human beings and also cause many changes in nature and in its fauna and flora. All seas and inland waters will also be polluted with toxic substances and all kinds of rubbish and badly contaminated, with even drinking water being contaminated with the poisons. And as a result, many Earth humans, animals, creatures, and other self-propelled life forms will become ill and even die. And this will also spread to the plant world and many genera and species will be destroyed and wiped out. Many similar life forms are already complaining to each other about this and they will do so even more in the future. Unfortunately, However, human beings do not understand these languages, and they even doubt that other life forms, such as animals, creatures, and others, have their own languages, depending on their genus and species, which consist of certain sounds. This, as also according to their genus and species, each has its own language. So, for example, for human beings, inaudible tones are also radiating swinging waves or impulses, etc., even rock. Metal in each other matter exhibits its own languages, which are based on impulses or swinging waves of different form, which communicate in the same direction among each other, genus or species. Especially the many types of plastics in all the world's waters will cause countless aquatic life forms to suffer and die. And this will also have an impact on all genera and species in fields, meadows in the air, forests, and many terrestrial creatures. Here are real-world examples that reflect the themes of climate destruction, human-induced environmental degradation, 
and the denial of responsibility as presented in the text. 1. Plastic pollution in oceans and its impact on marine life present day. The description of plastic pollution in the text is tragically accurate in our current reality. Today, the oceans are filled with millions of tons of plastic waste, ranging from microplastics to larger debris. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch, for example, is a massive accumulation of plastic and other debris, stretching over 1.6 million square kilometers. This pollution severely impacts marine life. Sea creatures such as turtles, fish, and seabirds ingest plastics, mistaking them for food, which leads to death by starvation or poisoning. Microplastics have also entered the food chain affecting not just marine life, but humans as well. The long-term consequences of this plastic pollution are still unfolding, but the damage to aquatic ecosystems is profound, echoing the text's predictions about the destructive effects on all life forms in the water and on land. 2. Fossil fuels and air pollution leading to health issues the widespread use of fossil fuels, through cars, industrial emissions, and power plants, has contributed significantly to air pollution, causing a range of health issues for humans and other life forms. Fine particulate matter, PM2.5, and nitrogen dioxide NO2, are major pollutants that come from burning fossil fuels. These pollutants are linked to respiratory illnesses, cardiovascular diseases, and even cancer. Cities like Beijing and Delhi have experienced airpocalypse events, where air quality deteriorates so much that it becomes hazardous to even step outside. According to the World Health Organization WHO, around 7 million people die each year due to exposure to polluted air. This real-world scenario mirrors the prediction in the text about the poisoning of the atmosphere and the subsequent health impacts on humans and animals. 3. Climate change and rising temperatures Global climate change, driven by human activities such as deforestation, industrial pollution, and the burning of fossil fuels, has resulted in rising global temperatures. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change IPCC has repeatedly warned about the disastrous effects of global warming, including more frequent and intense heat waves, wildfires, floods, and storms. The year 2023, for example, saw record-breaking temperatures across Europe, with wildfires ravaging Greece and Italy, while heavy floods devastated parts of the U.S. and China. These extreme weather events, resulting from human-induced climate change, align with the text's description of the Earth's ecosystems being irreversibly damaged by humanity's irresponsible actions. 4. The ozone layer and skin cancer. The text predicts that the depletion of the ozone layer will lead to health problems such as skin cancer. In reality, the depletion of the ozone layer, caused by the release of chlorofluorocarbon CFCs and other chemicals, has indeed led to an increase in ultraviolet UV radiation reaching the Earth's surface. Higher levels of UV radiation can cause skin cancer and cataracts in humans, and also damage plants and marine ecosystems. In the 1980s, scientists discovered a hole in the ozone layer above Antarctica, leading to the Montreal Protocol in 1987, an international agreement to phase out the production of ozone-depleting substances. While the ozone layer is fully recovering, the harmful effects of its depletion continue to be felt today, 
especially in regions with higher UV exposure. 5. Deforestation and loss of biodiversity The large-scale destruction of forests, particularly in the Amazon rainforest, is a real-world example of how humanity's exploitation of natural resources leads to long-term environmental damage. Deforestation, driven by logging, agriculture, and mining, results in the loss of biodiversity, with thousands of species at risk of extinction. Forests act as carbon sinks, absorbing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, but deforestation reduces this capability, exacerbating global warming. The destruction of forests also threatens indigenous communities who rely on them for their livelihoods. This reflects the prediction in the text that humanity's actions will lead to the destruction of nature and its fauna and flora, resulting in disastrous consequences for both the planet and humanity itself. 6. Industrial Agriculture and Pesticides the texts mention of artificial fertilizers and pesticides causing damage to ecosystems and human health is reflected in the widespread use of industrial agricultural practices. Pesticides and herbicides, such as glyphosate, are widely used in farming to increase crop yields, but their use has led to the contamination of soil and water sources affecting not just human health but also wildlife. For instance, the decline in bee populations, which are critical for pollination, has been linked to the use of certain pesticides. These chemicals also contaminate groundwater and can lead to health issues such as cancer and neurological disorders in humans. The green revolution of industrial agriculture has thus brought about both short-term gains and long-term environmental damage, as described in the text. 7. Denial of climate change by leaders and industries The text predicts that the reality of climate change and environmental destruction will be denied by those in positions of responsibility for a long time. This denial is seen today in the actions of certain political leaders, fossil fuel industries, and corporate interests that actively downplay or deny the severity of climate change. For years, companies like ExxonMobil funded research that cast doubt on the scientific consensus on climate change, despite having evidence of the damaging effects of fossil fuels on the environment. Politicians in countries like the U.S., Brazil, and Australia have also resisted efforts to address climate change, prioritizing short-term economic gains over long-term sustainability. This resistance to acknowledging climate change aligns with the text's prediction of continued denial, even as the effects become more apparent. 8. Mass Extinctions and Loss of Biodiversity The ongoing biodiversity crisis, often referred to as the sixth mass extinction, is another example of the ecological destruction predicted in the text. Human activities, including habitat destruction, pollution, climate change, and overexploitation of species, have accelerated the rate of extinction for many plants and animals. Iconic species like the Sumatran rhinoceros, the Vaquita porpoise, and various amphibians are on the brink of extinction due to habitat loss and environmental changes. The destruction of ecosystems reduces the planet's ability to support life further exacerbating the environmental crises predicted in the text. Each of these examples reflects the dire environmental consequences and climate destruction driven by human irresponsibility, as highlighted in the text.
The global community continues to grapple with the fallout from unchecked industrial activities, resource exploitation, and environmental mismanagement, all of which are accelerating the climate crisis and harming both the planet and its inhabitants.